Hey guys, and welcome to another set of cars video. And today is a pretty special one for me as we're going to be driving an F1 car. It is the Ferrari F312T 1975 car. And I'm looking forward to this one. We're at Monza on the 1966 layout, which had no chicanes, no Ascari, any of that. We're going to give this a little run. The last time I drove this car was on F1 2013 in time trial mode as that was the only mode you can drive this car on and this looks different already. It sounds amazing. The sound of that engine is just pure amazement. So we're just going to be a nice little cruise around this track. I love the whole, you'll see in a minute when we switch gears, that the whole animation of the guy coming off the wheel, changing the gear getting back on his wheel, I think that's pretty impressive, I love that. Like that. Just adds a bit of the realism to this game, even more. And this track layout, it's it's not too bad, I quite like it. On here, so we can take it nice and smooth. Straight on the power. Now I'm going to come on to this long straight now once again. Coming to where a scorer you should be, but it's not. So now we're coming to power box. So we're going to break a bit early because uh, we don't want to go off the track. Oh, big tank snapper there to change into the gear. So we're going to start a lap now. Oh, big, big. It's the moment we're on the corner, but we're going to be starting a lap now. The old layout, the, the old oval bit, we've just, we've just got past that. So we're going to do a lap now. This is going to be eventful. We're putting the speed up, we're already at maximum speed. We're going to just drop it slowly through here. Still have no idea when to brake and stuff, but... The handling of this car feels so good. Force feedback's pretty good as well. So we're now coming to the next set of flowing corners. So we have a massive sideways moment there. We drift the car. Get back on the power. It's so gonna come now. A bit of a sideways moment there. We hit the curb, but it's fine. Now we're gonna join the old normal layout under the bridge. Now we're going to come into a Scari now, which is flat, without the lift, because I have no idea when to break. We're going to come down back straight now towards Power Bonica. This corner, you've got to get a bang on. You've got to get this right. Just going to break it nice and smooth, have a nice smooth entry. Don't have it too wide, straight on the, ga the gas again. As that is a lap of Monza. But we're going to see if we can beat that, we'll see if we can beat that time now, the 32. 32.2, 3, I mean. Just drop down the turn in. Try to stay as much of the curve as possible. We're half a tenth up, half a second up already. Just for the confidence of driving a lap round here. The break a bit later now, know where the lines are. Oh, I've got sideways at the wall. Bit of drift there. But yeah, it's good to see the crash physics need a bit of a uh, updating a bit. But I love the whole tire markings on there. You can see there's a bit of grass on there. Loss of grip. And you get grass on your tires as you would do in normal life, which is pretty impressive. On there. The scenery, the graphics, the environment is incredible. And this is obviously, I said, of course, doing this, as this is one of the standard tracks you get with the game when you buy it on Steam. It just looks incredible, this game. I would really strongly recommend you getting this, guys. Really do. Get it. On there, so we're going to come now. We're going to come now through Power Bonica for the final time. 
not going to be the fastest lap in the world after that crash, but it's good to showcase the whole crash physics and the whole tyre markings with grass and all that. And then the bumpiness of this road, this track as well, you can see from the steering wheel merging left and right. So we've crossed the finish line and that, guys, is a couple of laps around Monza. And if you guys enjoyed this, then hit that like button and subscribe for more set of course of gameplay. Hopefully next time by is going to be some multiplayer for you guys as we're going to be tackling the online world of Assetto Corsa and giving that a review as well. But thanks guys for watching this video and if you did like it then subscribe and follow as I've said. And until the next Assetto Corsa video guys, wherever in the world have a great day and I shall see you very soon for another video. Brian signing out, hope you guys have a good day. See you later.